I'm Jim W6LG, your YouTube Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. In the last episode, I, I showed a schematic of a typical 3500Z. The schematic was drawn by uh, Bill Orr, probably about 1965-66. And it became the basis, I believe, of most of the amplifiers that were commercially made at the time, like the SP220 and the Drake L4B and, and some others. Now, from that schematic, I erased uh, several parts to simplify the explanation as I went through what was there. Uh, one part that I did remove that some people have commented on is a safety choke at the end of the tank circuit. That safety choke is there in case DC appears on the tank circuit. It shorts it to ground. That is an important item. Um, I want to go over the tune-up procedure that I use with an amplifier that I have not used in the past. And that's what I have on the desk. Um, the tubes internet are original. Uh, the power supply, the mods I made to it were the capacitors. Uh, in the RF deck, I added step start to save wear and tear on the on and off switches, which fail in that amplifier. Now I've already filmed uh, me tuning it up on 80, 20, and 10, and I was successful in doing that. And the output is decent. What I want to do is go over that process as I filmed it and then narr narrate and explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, for example, I'm going to start out with a relatively low drive between 5 and 6, 7 watts and then step it up from there. And each time before I transmit, you're going to see me reach around in front of the camera and increase the load control. I want to have the load control as as high as I can get it so that I couple as much output to the end, to the dummy load as I can. Um, if I had it at zero and I put 100 watts into that amp, it would likely arc um, those air variable, air variable capacitors or somewhere else in the circuit because RF would not be going out the uh, SO239. It'd be finding another path to ground. So to say that again, I'm going to reach around and increase the load control and then apply some power, tune it for um, max out. In many cases, the tuning of the uh, plate tune control is not super critical. I'll get it kind of in the ballpark and then finish it up with the uh, load control. Again, what I'm looking to do is to load the amp for full output. And then if I run less power, I back the drive down. I actually am going to load it for even more power than I'm going to put into it because I'm going to ad advance the load control when I go on the air just a bit. And that's another thing too. I'm doing this into a dummy load. When I get to the antenna I, and hooking that up, I'm going to need to re-tweak the tank circuit and it'll probably be just a little bit. Reason being my dummy load is exactly 50 ohms. My antenna probably isn't. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to narrate over what I've already filmed describe what I'm doing and hopefully that'll be helpful to you if you're when you're tuning up an amplifier. Is it applicable to other amplifiers? Absolutely. SP220, SP200, TL922, um, the Tentec Centurion, um, the uh, Ameritron amplifiers, all those are basically the same design. The parts vary and some are heavier duty than others by a lot. Um, but the whole goal here is to get the output out of the tube into the tank circuit and to the antenna and not have it short somewhere or go to ground. Okay, so here we go. This will be um, the method I use. It would be with any amplifier that was a grounded grid triode with a tetrode that has screen voltage. It's going to be a different process, but this would be any amplifier that's just a simple grounded grid, maybe some bias, maybe not. So here we go. I'm going to bring that up on the screen and then narrate over the video that I shot so you won't hear the fan noise and the other stuff that was going on. Okay, you're going to turn on the amplifier. Um, low voltage position first. And that's about 1800 volts and going to go ahead and put it in the high voltage position.
and that's about twenty twenty six fifty. Okay, so let's tune this amplifier. Uh, I've set the drive to ten watts. Got to put the watt meter on three hundred. Uh, that on zero for a start, and then just tune this for a max out, which should be sort of close to the dip. There we go. That was easy. There's um, 150 watts out with um, 10 watts of drive. Let's increase the drive to um, 30 watts. Increase the load control because I know it's going to need to be up there somewhere. Move the watt meter over and just do a quick hit. Okay, that's pretty close. Um, actually, that's uh, what, uh, five, six hundred watts out. Yeah, about six hundred watts output. Let's see, four hundred mils of play current. I want to do about a hundred mils of grid current. Okay, that's pretty close. So there's about a four to one ratio there. Okay, let's increase the drive to sixty watts. I think this is going to need to be more heavily loaded again. So put that back in the watt meter position. Okay, that's um, 800 watts out on the built in watt meter and 900 watts out on the attached bird. So there's 600 mils of. of uh, Play current, play voltage, it's about 2,500. All right, let's uh, go to 100 watts of drive. It's in the uh, forward reading position. Okay. Um, output is about 12, 1300 watts. My bird is showing uh, 1400 watts out. It's actually about 90 watts of drive. Uh, 700 mils of plate current. 250. Let's see how much grid current. Oh, too much grid current. All right, I got a little more heavily for sure. All right, let's see how that looks. Um, Eight hundred. I'm driving a little too hard now. That's still 1400 watts out. So I'd back the drive down just a bit or load it a tad more heavily. Okay. Uh, 850 on the plate current, 860 and 200 mils of grid current. And uh, output is about 1300 watts. Let's see what happens if I load it just a tad more heavily. All right, still 1200 watts out. Now I think I need to back my drive down. It's um, let's drop it down a tad. Okay, so I'm gonna drive over the max of about uh, 80, 90 watts. So I've got 800 mils of uh, plate current 200 let's see how many mils of grid current uh, less than 200 mils of grid current 
So it ought to be really, really linear that way. All right, that's tuned up. I think I'm going to mark the dial as to those positions. Um, I'll need to adjust the the, um, the load control just a bit for uh, the antenna, which is going to have a uh, a different impedance than uh, than my dummy load, my bird dummy load. And again, showing 1200 watts out or so. All right, good.